Welcome home everyone, Wookie Legend here. Today we're back with another how-to video on the Tiger British Battlecruiser. Uh, technically it's a battleship, but uh, it's a battlecruiser. It has less armor, it's a lot faster, it has less secondaries. Uh, it can move around very quick. Um, it, you're, just, you're just dealing with a lot of damage from battleships. So what you want to do is you want to kind of play it like a battle, uh, like a battle, uh, like a cruiser. <laughs> you like a cruiser. You want to play it like a cruiser. Um, your armor isn't the best. You have well, 16 in the front, which if someone shoots you right through the front, they shoot you right in the casemate, which if you remove that, goes right into your nice citadel because flat on 51 is nothing for those big guns. So mind you, don't go nose into a battleship. If they know what they're doing, they'll go right through this nose and citadel you. What you want to do is try to mitigate all that damage by kind of using these side plates. But even then, depending on what's shooting at you, you're going to have a lot of troubles. You can't be sitting broadside with this thing and not eat damage. Um, your concealment's still decent for this tier. Your guns are uh, 343s, which have a really nice 39% chance of fire. It is British. British battleships are known for their fire starting in this game. So you you want you want to deal with that. Uh, secondaries really, there's no secondary build on this thing. I went with more of a uh, hard hitting with the super heavy AP, fast moving concealment build with my first ten points. Uh, we also got you know the damage control a little bit faster because you're gonna have to mitigate a lot of damage coming your way depending on how you're playing. From here though, uh, let's go to modules. And I, I went with main armament as usual. We went with the engine boost modifier so we can get a lot, a lot faster. 30 knots at this tier is ridiculous. Okay. That's cruiser speed. You're flying around. You're you're gonna be hit and run, hit and run wherever possible. Uh, and then we went with a better aiming system. So we went with the aiming system mod one. So your guns are a little bit more accurate. We'll see though. You have a speed boost. And you also have torpedoes. I forgot about that. Your torpedoes are, though, in the water, underwater. But they can still get damaged, just so you know. I believe you have one in the front, one in the back, uh, on both sides. So four all together, and I'll show you the arcs for that in a second. Um, outside of this, of course, depending on what signals you want to use, I don't have ones right now, so I can't show you. Do what you want. Um, a lot of them, if you just click here, It'll usually give you the ones you should be using. Uh, it, it's actually a pretty good system. So if you're ever wondering what am I supposed to do, just click recommended and it'll give you what's recommended. Hopefully you have them. All right. Other than that, let's get into the battle. I'll show you guys how exactly to play this. Well, the way I would play it, I personally think it is a hit and run cruiser with a lot of armor and big guns. But if you're going to play it like a battleship, just know. If there's stronger battleships out there that have better armor than you and better guns, and they will absolutely crush you. So you've been forewarned. Just because it says battleship doesn't mean you play it like a battleship. So, and this comes down to again my theory on playing every ship in 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 its in the game. If you play every ship in the game, you know how to counter the ships you're playing against because you know how they play. You know how to counter them, you know how they counter you. All right. We are top tier. We're playing against other Tigers, which is fine. We're also playing against a tier four, which is fine. So now the biggest problem is mop up. We have to mop up this. These guys aren't a problem. The CVs aren't a problem. We have AA. The battleships aren't really a problem. It's the cruisers that are going to light us up, and it's the destroyers that are going to torpedo us. We know that certain torpedo uh, boats here do very well in long range and stealth. Others are more gunboats. So you want to start out with HE. Every time. As soon as this guy spots that DD, you blast that DD. DD needs to go first. Now, because we're not spotted, we get 10% more speed boost. Which is ideal because this ship needs to go fast. It's That's what the whole point of it is. But, a lot of battleships like to go out here. And when they're out here, they're getting shot from here and here. Okay? This one doesn't want to get shot. You don't want to get shot in this thing. Especially by battleships. So I'm going to actually pull myself in this way, stay here for a little bit, deal with everything that comes around the corner here and here, 
and then move to a more significant position where we can do a lot of damage. So I'm going to turn my guns to the right. Doesn't matter if the CV spot us. They'll know we're here. No, we know that. We just don't want them to shoot us because they have a lot of abilities to shoot. And that early on damage is cru like very crucial. Later on, you're taking damage, no problem. Early on, though... Okay, I'm already spotted. Early on, though, you need to be able to save your health for late-game stuff. Okay, speed boost. Now, with that cruiser and that DD, let's go like that. Hopefully that the cruiser doesn't die. He turned the wrong way. This DD is not paying attention. 1600. We missed. These torps are slow and they have no range. We're going to push up. While this guy's spotted, we're shooting him. I don't care about this cruiser at all. The DD is a lot more important to kill than the cruiser. The cruiser is easy to kill. It's the DD that can go stealth and torp you to death. Now, here are the torp angles from here. As you're turning, you'll switch to the back torp. There you go. Really good angles for torps. Uh, planes are shooting us. That's fine. We want to ping. Turning the back guns. We're going back. We need these ZDs dead. They're almost dead too. This is ideal for us. They're making a lot of mistakes. We're going to take a massive advantage over that. Okay, he's dead. He's going to attempt to torp us, so we're going to keep moving. Now, when you're turning, you're not going as fast. So what you need to do is... You need to go in a straight line. So from time to time, you have to actually... You have to actually stop turning and go straight in order to accelerate. Now, we don't know where he shot, but we're moving away. We're completely dark. All their DDs are dead. All of them. So now this guy has to turn around. Notice how he's already leaving. Why? He has no more backup. We're going to our AP. And we're going to start shooting them one by one. Now, I don't want to go through here and be in between both of them. You always want to 1v1 everything. doesn't matter what ship you're in. If you're going to be shooting, you want a 1v1 opportunity. So then it's skill-based. There's still RNG. There's still dispersion. But it's still an I know maybe more than you. So I'm going to use that ability to beat you 1v1. Not 2v1 because the chances are slim you're going to win. Because they don't have to be good at the game. They just have to shoot at you to cause fires, to detonate you, to cause damage, right? So in order for that to happen is you need to position yourself to deal with one threat at a time. Now this guy's almost dead and the other guy's not shooting at us. So what we're going to do is let's get rid of this threat. Like so. Focus him. Most people are going to shoot him. He's coming to us. I don't need to. We need, to hit, we need him dead. He's the threat. Those planes can fly at us all they want. He's the one that's going to kill our ships like he's about to do there. I, I can't even ping F3 anymore. We're going to cap while we're shooting. And we're going to switch to HE actually because he is angled. But there's our first volley. 8k. Because he's angled and he's another tiger. Yes, he doesn't have armor to our shells, but we want fires on him. We want him to start having dots because the dots will burn him while we're reloading. So go through his armor while we're reloading. And yes, again, he's here, which is fine. I mean, here we can... Let's pop one. Here we go. Ready? See how other people are shooting him? So prioritize your shots. Okay, there we go. He's we barely did anything to him. Almost a waste. Actually, we're going to nowhere. So we're actually going to turn our guns. We're going back. 
Now we're looking at the minimap. They capped A, but they're coming back to help. We've completely destroyed their whole flank and the middle. Their team is falling apart and backing up. All we want to do now is stay alive and contribute to damage. This is the way you practice your shots. The game's already won. Practice all your shots now so you understand what to do later. This guy's going to die or that guy's going to die. One of, one of the two because they're way too close. Remember, you use your guns at a range where it can help you survive. Chasing them down, that doesn't mean they can't kill you because he's fleeing. He's not fleeing because he's weak. He's fleeing because he ha he's, he's running out of positions to go to where they're safe. Okay. If he stops, they'll torp him. So he's avoiding torps. How do you avoid torps? By leaving. He can't go forward, so he has to go backwards. In theory, he's not going backwards. He's just going that way, not going this way. So you, if you, you want to use the wording any which way you want, but at the end, he's trying to stay as alive as long as possible to, to deal with the threat. The threat is pushing and pushing and pushing, and that's why our ships keep dying. Like The cruiser's dead. We took care of him. Here's the next threat. Why? Because he's behind the island, so I can't shoot him. But after I pop a shot there, I'm shooting him. Now, their team is still in a position to kill our team. They just need really good shots. While our team is pushing forward, as you can see, there's a crossfire on this dude. Kaiser is getting crossed. DDs are kind of running amok. If they stay dark, they'll be fine. But, yeah. He's turning around again. Again, tried to survive. He's not bothering to shoot me because I am no threat to him. In the sense of, they're, they're, they're right next to him trying to torp him. They're the threat. I'm just trying to clean up. And the game is over. If you maintain this of moving around, helping out, moving around, helping out, do circles. Double back. If you have to, move to another flank. If you have to, move to the middle. Right? Change targets on the fly. If you have to, do it. But don't just sit in one spot and try to 1v1, 2v1, 3v1, and try to damage return. It's not going to work with this ship. The ship needs to move around. You don't have the armor. Good luck with this, everyone. Uh, hope to see you soon. Take it easy and goodbye.